Hello and welcome to this PS Trace tutorial video. Today I would like to talk to you about equivalent circuit fitting. So um, I think most people who nowadays work in electrochemistry will encounter electrochemical impedance spectroscopy and to do a really thorough analysis of your impedance spectra it's very common to do equivalent circuit fitting to extract the influence of different components on your electrochemical system. Okay, so let's have directly a look how you do equivalent circuit fitting in PS Trace. So I have here two impedance spectra that I recorded earlier, one of them with a metal disc electrode and another one with a graphite SPEs, both of them in hexatoanophorite solution, because it's easy. Um, okay, so first let's have a look uh, where you can find equivalent circuit fitting and that, that is behind this button in the impedance plot window. Okay, when you click that button you will immediately get first into the um, well editor mode and here you can draw your own circuit that you would like to use. Just click on one of the uh, connection points to just add another element or if you hover above an element you would create something in parallel to it. If you want to get rid of something just use the eraser. Um, you see we're equipped with like all the standard elements that are used for equivalent circuit fitting. Okay you can also preload some or you can use some you can load some circuits that we have pre-made for you. So um, you can load for example the very popular simplified Randall circuit or also the regular Randall circuit or some other circuits that are for example more common uh, in, in different fields like corrosion or batteries etc. Okay maybe let's just load the Randall circuit and then we can go to fit um, then we can then we can go to fit mode. Okay I just make this big so we can nicely see everything so I'll make this one like this. So now you see immediately you see here your circuit with all the starting values at each of the components. You also see the same here as a table where you can set if a component should be fixed or um, if it's allowed to be used for fitting. You see the um, abbreviation used in the circuit, you see the starting value that you, well, that you use at the start of your fit and you should see the minimum and maximum values that are allowed in, in this fitting process. Okay, other things you can do is, for example, is you can include multiple curves actually in your fitting if you want to. So, for example, I've now chosen both of the curves that I have here and I want to perform a fit to them. So once I've set my starting parameters um, in a way that I find sufficiently, uh, I can just press the fit button. Well, I just feel lucky, so I just press the fit button and you see how many iterations are run. Well, so for a real system, this fit is actually quite nice. Um, I would most likely have to use a constant phase element, but just um, let's go with what we have now. Well, now you can see that the values here have been, um, have been adjusted and um, you can have now a circuit with the values of the different components. You can nicely press the snapshot button and then you have a picture of that circuit in your clipboard and you can paste it in Word or in PowerPoint etc. You can of course also uh, copy the values of your fit um, to your clipboard from all selective curves or you can just one by one look at the different um, values that, um, that are the results of your fit. Okay. Um, Oh yes, one more or two more important things. Here you can change the um, plot that you actually want to look at. So usually it's the Nyquist plot, but maybe you just want to look at the face angle or absolute impedance, which are the components of the border plot. Um, with one click you can export the whole thing to Excel if you want to. And uh, you can also copy the single results of a curve with the button that's hidden here beneath my portrait. Okay, um, that is actually everything that I want to tell you right now about circuit fitting. I leave the rest 
to your exploration. And um, yeah, so if you found this video helpful, feel free to go to our uh, YouTube channel, subscribe maybe, and look at the other videos we have there. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn so you don't miss any of our updates. So thanks for watching and have a great day.